Chip Stealers of the Seven Seas, welcome back to another Loki Games video. Me and my girlfriend were watching YouTube the other day and we came across this Freeze HD channel. And it's got tons of videos named Seven Things You Didn't Know Existed. And we watched quite a few of these and we were in stitches how cringy and that they were. And how some of them didn't even make sense. So I thought I'd do a proper low key review on these videos and see if you fucking like it. Lego. If you look around, buttons are everywhere. What if you can push them without physically being where they are? What if you can make them work automatically on their own? It's a microbot push. The tiny wireless robotic thing that can push any button. Now I can push this with your smartphone. Push is very easy to install and use. Just attach it on the surface where the button you want to push is located. Pair with this companion help portal box and use your smartphone to push it from anywhere, anytime, even from outside. No wires, no tools required. With push, you can control your light switches, turn on your home computer for more, play music, start making coffee, turn off electric fan, and many other things. It's only limited by your imagination. In fact, you don't even need a smartphone to use it. It just works. Protobox is the brain for microbots, and it's what automates them with other sensors and services. Using its groundbreaking user interface, all you need to do is scribble a note that describes how you want to automate your microbots. With Protobox, you can start making coffee when you wake up. Get things on your desk ready when you enter your office. Turn on lights when the sun goes down. And a lot more, all automatically without your smartphone. Now isn't this like the laziest fucking invention anyone's ever created? You can put it on light switches and control it with your iPhone. What if your iPhone's halfway across the fucking room too? I know it's got that clap feature, which is pretty good. You've got clap on, clap off lights anyway. And if you're feeling a bit lazy one day on the sofa and join yourself like this lass, I can see how it would help. But every single day, I mean, we do get enough fucking exercise as it is. And when the little dude goes up and says, all you got to do is attach it to this light switch and then you can control it remotely and shit. You gotta go up to the light switch anyway to fucking put it on. <laughs> and you can connect it to coffee machines as well for in the morning so you can get up and your coffee's already made for you. One of the things that wakes us up in the morning is having to get up to make coffee. If you stumble out of bed like a fucking zombie, the little robots are really like, oh, there we go, sir, I've already made your coffee for you. You're just like, oh, fuck you. I'm staggered to work. We end up like fucking zombies, fat ones. And what's this where he puts it on the controller? Any button will work. What? Oh, so it plays games for you too. <laughs> this little fucking button just sits there and plays games for you if you can't be asked to press the fucking A button over and over again to jump. And it comes with its own fucking app. <laughs> it says here, when I write time for coffee on Slack, push starts the espresso machine. So you can text it and say, get the fucking coffee on, love. I'm on my way home. It's like a wife. When I'm home, push open the garage door, which is it's probably pretty good because you've got to, you know, take that little remote out your pocket when you get home, point it at the garage door and click it to open it. Now the button does it for you. And when the sun goes down, push turn on lights in the living room. So when it's dark and you're not even home, it'll just turn all the lights on and waste all your fucking electricity. I've got a problem with this little button. I think it's a bit of a little shit, to be honest. Uh, let me take over your entire life. Just sit back and relax and get obese. I mean, it's so hard to, when you get home from work, you come in the door and there's a fucking light switch right next to you and you have to go and press it to turn the lights on. <laughs> now, as always, I always look at both sides of this, and I can see some good points with this, you know. Light switch, maybe the coffee, because I know there's, like, alarm clocks that do your coffee for you, but I just find it's a bit fucking lazy, to be honest. Anyway, on to the next one. Say hello to Pura, the world's first truly smart air freshener, fully controlled from your mobile device. Pura works differently than any other air freshener. You can tailor it to your lifestyle, Pura allows you to create your own schedule of fragrancing with options to control the time and the rooms that you want to be fragranced. You can even control which fragrance you want at any given time. Each Pura dispenser also has a USB port to ensure that you don't lose access to your outlet. Why waste money? Pura dispensers automatically turn off when you leave your home. When you return, the dispensers resume the schedule you've set. And regardless of where you are, 
From your mobile device, you can override the dispensers and turn them on so that your home will smell great before you arrive. Each dispenser has a smart night light and with over 16 million color options, you'll be sure to find color to match your style. Our goal is to make sure your space smells great without the hassle. We're very excited to bring to you Pira, the world's first smart air freshener. Okay, I have nothing bad to say about that one. I know that sounds stupid coming from me <laughs> when this is supposed to be a comedic kind of thing. But I'm also doing this for the creators, you know, trying to get their videos out there even more. If they have got some good inventions, then maybe some of you will check them out. I don't know. I'll leave the link in the description for all these videos anyway. But like I said, it's not just a comedic thing. I'm trying to help these people out as well. So even if some of them are a bit, <laughs> you know. I think there's other things out there like this where it's got a little glow and it's got different fragrances and stuff. I'm not sure if they've got that thing where you go out the room and it like stops to save fucking energy and shit. That's pretty good. That's a good idea. I like that one. On to the next one. Uh, one thing I will add, though, just before we go, that co-founder on the left didn't really fucking say much, did he? <laughs> I think he was just there to look pretty. My name is Laurent Schnauer, I'm co-founder of Fly. That in the future we'll have flying robots around us helping us in our daily lives. But before that we must overcome a few challenges, in particular with respect to safety and usability. And after many many trials, Fly eventually stayed in the air and proved to us that it was uh, all possible. The size and weight of a soccer ball, it's packed with sensors, a powerful onboard computer, a HD camera, and a Wi-Fi connection. We wanted Fly to be smart and autonomous, so you don't have to be always piloting it. You can select a simple mission through the mobile app and just enjoy the live streaming. Okay, first thing off the bat with this one is it looks scary as shit. <laughs> like in a really weird way. I don't know what it is. Like you see it fly past that old dude and that old dude's sort of like scared of it as well. He's like, what the fuck is this coming down this alleyway? I'm not sure if they let people know ahead of time that they were going to fly this through the streets, but that old dude looked fucking terrified. I'm not sure where you'd actually use this apart from peeping Tom. It's got a cam on it. You can like fly it around. You see it flying around different building sites and shit and like going up high over walls. <laughs> I'm not sure what your intentions are with this thing. It looks like really awkward in its own shell, eh? It's like sort of hovering about doing this weird wave thing. <laughs> Plus a CEO in it looks like Palmer Lucky, doesn't he? Could be onto a good one here though, if he looks like him. Fucking hell. I'm not sure if the creators of this actually likes the robot either. I mean, that guy just gives it a fucking push for no reason. Whooshes back and then sort of like looks at him as if to say, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you pushing me? Oh, we're testing the stability of you. We're showing the people your stability. I don't care, mate. Don't fucking push me in public. And when they're testing it in someone's bedroom, the creator of it actually looks fucking petrified as it takes off. <laughs> Did you notice? It like goes off and he's sort of like edging away from it in case it fucking comes at him with a knife or something. I think it's a very unpredictable robot. Everyone seems to be a bit terrified of it. Especially seeing there's one point where you see him like sending it off into a field. It comes back towards him like it's going to fucking headbutt him. Like, yeah, I know what you did last night, mate. Fiddling with my parts. <laughs> like, this robot's got anger problems. I'm not sure why it's got Wi-Fi. You're going to have to comment below and let me know why, it, why it's got Wi-Fi as well. I mean, can it download apps while it's in the air while you're peeping on people? I'm not sure what's going on there. And last but not least for this one, it looks looks lonely. Maybe that's why it's so fucking angry at people. You see it like flying through the streets, like saying hello to people and everyone's like, oh, what a disgusting fucking creature. It's like the elephant man trying to make friends. Now you see it like just, it's daily life. It's just like floating through this abandoned old warehouse like, on its own, looking for someone to talk to. <laughs> anyway. Hi, I'm Sean. And I'm Frank. And this is Echo. Echo is a revolutionary new audio device that enables your existing headphones or speakers to receive wireless, hi-fi audio from any source. Each user simply takes a battery-powered sound puck from the base station and plugs in any pair of headphones. The result? Instant, hi-fi quality wireless audio for the whole family. Most wireless headphone systems are bulky and expensive, and often designed for only one user. We designed Echo because we believe everyone should be able to use their headphones or speakers to enjoy a phenomenal wireless listening experience. Up to four or more can listen together at the same time. 
Its built-in Wi-Fi technology delivers high-quality, ultra-low latency sound for a real-time listening experience. It's perfect for movies, music, gaming, and more. Each sound puck has individual volume controls, while the smart mobile app controls equalizer settings, streaming settings, and more. It even has parental controls like volume limiting to help ensure safe listening for kids. We designed Echo because we wanted to create a high quality, social, wireless listening experience that our expensive wireless headphones simply couldn't provide. It's simple enough for the whole family to enjoy. Something that untethers you, that allows you more freedom and better range than Bluetooth or RF. Okay, again, this is a really good one. I'm liking this. I'm not really sure how it works, but I can see that this is a pretty good idea, you know? A few things I want to add, though, just to take the piss. You notice in all of these when they're trying to make something that you do now look bad, they make it look ten times worse than it actually is. They show, like, a big pile of wires. Oh, look at all these fucking tangled-up wires. Who leaves their headphones like that unless you're a messy cunt? The thing that I can see a downside to this is you can't fucking talk to your family. <laughs> it puts you into, like, a social phobia bubble while you're watching a movie, even though you're sat right next to someone. Everyone's got their headphones on. You see the girl walk into the kitchen. Everyone's like having a laugh. She's like, fucking family, I hate these bastards. Glad I have my headphones so I can't hear what they're saying. And lastly, I just find that guy's face on the right funny. I mean, it looks like he's scared to be there. <laughs> I'm not really sure if I want to be here right now. I don't even know what they're trying to sell. Hopefully it's not me. That's, oh, that's freaking crazy. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, see? <laughs> yeah, it's like, whoa. Nah. Stop. Stop. That's not. What if a photograph could come to life in your hands? What if you could print a GoPro video or an Apple Live photo? What if you could instantly send your friends a magical photograph from your surfing trip or a photo from the concert of the century? So there's basically three major things that make life print really great. The first is our ability to give you easy access to all of your special moments by integrating your social media and video into our app. We seamlessly integrate with GoPro, with Apple Live Photos, with Instagram, with Facebook, with Vine, with Twitter. And then we also integrate your iOS camera roll and your Android camera roll, right? Basically, the point is, is that we're giving you super easy access to any photo or video you might want to print. Next, what we do is we can add an augmented reality video experience embedded into any photo you have. This is called Hyperphoto, which is really cool. It's, it's like magic or something. And then we can portably print and share these hyperphotos to anyone in the world within our network. And of course, you can print all of your regular still photos too. The augmented reality piece just adds something extra only if you really want. Take a photo. You probably want to share that moment with someone, not just keep it for yourself. Think of us like a physical version of Instagram. I'll also say that when you send someone a photo, they have permission to accept the print or not. So you're not forced to keep printing photos of your aunt's cats over and over again. Incredibly high quality. We designed it with long-lasting materials and a minimalist design language. And we've intentionally made it to be lightweight and small enough to fit in your pocket. I'm glad he said at the end there what I was thinking. This is basically just Instagram. <laughs> but if people like your photos too much, they can actually print them out and put them on their wall. I don't think people have physical photos anymore. People just seem to look at them on their phone, you know? I'm not sure, except for old people. I've never seen anyone with actual physical photos in their home anymore. <laughs> I like the start of this one because it looks like he's showing them he's dick on camera. And some people are like really into it, go, whoa, oh, that's amazing. And then those two black dudes are just like, nah, man, <laughs> we don't want to see that shit. I do like that weird harry potter style thing where you put it in front of your phone and it sort of like comes to life i'm not sure how they do that i don't know if i'm just a thick bastard and i can't figure it out but this does look like a good one even if not many people do print out photos anymore maybe that's just me inspired by the old headlights we've collected over the years we combined our skills to create something useful really amazing we would be proud of having around We wanted it to have a personality. The stance had to inspire confidence, just like a superhero stance. The size was chosen so it would be tall enough to provide light for the entire office. The head rotates in any direction and at any angle. A clear one for reading that you could easily turn on or off and set the intensity just by touch. And an RGB one controlled by mobile. Turn it on or off, change the color or intensity while sitting comfortably on the couch. This light can even be synced to music 
so it will flash to the beat when you're having a party. The head is made out of old tractor headlights. It's all metal and glass, weather sealed, so it would last even in the toughest conditions. We wanted everyone to be able to add a personal touch to it. So, starting from day one, you can choose a color to match your room, a style to match your personality, Okay, first things first, this thing looks fucking epic. <laughs> See how it's standing? It's standing like a right fucking hard man. I'm loving that stance, even though it does look like it would have a bit of an attitude problem where it's standing, looks like it would be a bit of a dickhead. It looks good, and I like the fact that they took it from an old truck headlight. I know that sounds a bit stupid, but it looks like retro, you know? Now, I'm not sure if they intended for it to be that big, but I thought it was going to be like a normal sort of lamp, unless the guy's got really small hands. But when he first put it on there, it looked a bit fucking massive. Like it's going to take up half your screen if you put it on your desk. The thing that I've noticed with all of these is they've all got a fucking app. They can all connect to your iPhone. Is that the thing now? Every invention has to be able to connect to your iPhone, if, even if it's pointless. This one ain't though. I like the RGB thing. That's a good touch. When he said though that it comes from an old truck and it's like watertight and weatherproof, it doesn't look that tough, mate, to be fair. It looks rusty as shit. It looks like it's been through the walls. But still, another good invention. I'm finding some good ones on this. Some of them though, I promise you, are cringy as fuck in these playlists. We've created... The coolest piece of living art the world has ever seen. And all you backers out there transformed his garage hobby into a real business, Jellyfish Art. Then he teamed up with us, Reef Aquaria Design, introducing the Jellyfish Cylinder Nano. The easiest and most affordable aquarium that makes jellyfish keeping simple for anyone driven by a whisper quiet air pump, keeps conditions just right for healthy jellyfish. A new jellyfish food blend keeps them happy and healthy. It comes with all the accessories needed to set up in 10 minutes, so all you need to do is add water. We've also built a sustainable breeding facility, so once your tank is set up with water, a simple click of the mouse redeems your jellyfish from our website. Your jellies are guaranteed to stay alive for 30 days, or we will replace them for free. Hey, I'm Vanilla Ice, and I'm here to tell you something really cool. Jellyfish, real jellyfish, just like you've seen on the Vanilla Ice Project on DIY Network. Well, now you can bring it to your house anywhere in the country. That's right. We can ship the food to you, ship the jellyfish to you, and you can have it anywhere. Send it on your nightstand, and you'll be the coolest envy of the neighborhood. We've made pet jellyfish easy for anyone. Jellyfish are mesmerizing, peaceful, relaxing, fun, educational, easy to care for, and absolutely Fucking Vanilla Ice is in this. People don't know how I do these. I watch them just before I give you this take. So each time I give my review, I actually watch it. So you're watching it at the same time I'm watching it, if that makes sense. And I can't believe Vanilla Ice is in that shit. First of all, the shaking the hands thing. I'm not sure why they had to video each other doing a fake shake hands when they could have just told us that they worked together, you know? First off, I thought this was an LCD. I didn't think this was a real fish tank. I thought this was like some bendy screen that just shows like jellyfish in a loop fucking video or something. I like the way when she says about keeping keeping conditions just right for jellyfish. It doesn't look like they've got much room in there. I'm not really sure how much room jellyfish need, but they look a bit fucking claustrophobic in there. I think they're healthy. Unless they've got like a goldfish brain. That I know it's not true, by the way. They're just like swimming around and around. <laughs> oh, this looks nice. It's like 12 inches diameter of that thing. What the fuck? I love the fact she says about, we guarantee that your jellyfish will stay alive for 30 days. <laughs> or we'll fucking give you some more ones if they're not capable of living that long because of their tight quarters that they live in. I'm not sure how, do they only live for 30 days anyway? Or is it because you crammed them in a tight tube and made people fucking bang on the glass constantly and scare the shit out of them? They're floating around going, oh, what the fuck are we? <laughs> on to vanilla ice. <laughs> what the fuck? Where have you been, mate? I'm not sure if they got vanilla ice in as if like a semi, not even really famous anymore face to push their brand or he actually works there. You actually work there, Ice. I like the fact that they, he keeps his vanilla ice name, even though he hasn't been in like the rap business for fucking decades. <laughs> I'm guessing he works there at this jellyfish place. And for all 
I'll, I'll put my face in the advert, you know. Get your jellyfish design out there. The last bit made me laugh as well when this woman, for some reason, creepily stares into the fucking thing <laughs> while she's in bed. The jellyfish are just all like, oh, fucking hell, she's coming in again. What's she going to do this time? It said it looks relaxing, but to me, it looked like one of those creepy kids that collects bugs and then tortures them. It, that's the sort of face she made. And also, this is fun for kids. <laughs> I like the way they stated that it's fun for kids. The kid sort of walks up for about five seconds and sees it. He's like, oh, yeah, fucking jellyfish. And then just walks off. I don't think kids are going to be that into it, to be honest. But it does look very relaxing. I do like the look of this. This is one that I would actually buy for myself because I need calming down. I've got such bad fucking anger issues. This does look very calming. I'd, I'd love to have this next to my bed, you know? So it's a good invention. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this. It's less of my reaction videos and more of like a proper review this one. So I hopefully you enjoyed it. Comment below if you want to see more of these videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to follow me on all these stalker sites below if you haven't yet. And make sure to like and share this video if you need to eat a little bit of shit about vanilla rice's jellyfish business. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs>